Hello my beautiful Cancers and welcome to your reading for late November 2022. I hope you're doing well. Um, I have done a pre-shuffle and this is what I'm being shown. You could be dealing with an Emperor. So this could be someone who's an Aries, but doesn't have to be. It just means this person is quite hard to read emotionally. They're keeping it all together. Um, they're keeping it under wraps. You know, they're wearing a lot of armor here, okay? Um, this person might be quite well established in their field. You know, they might be a business owner. Um, you know, the emperor is the boss man, the CEO. Um, he, he, he likes to be the leader, right? He likes to make executive decisions. And a decision does need to be made in this instance. So we have the two of wands. We also have the lovers in the reverse. I definitely feel like there could be another energy, like a third party energy here. So your person needs to make a decision possibly between you and another person. Um, Cause you know, the lovers talks about a choice. When it's in the reverse, I definitely feel that this person could be already involved with someone. And we have the three of cups here, another third kind of energy. So, you know, this man with the two wands, they have they have a choice between two people, the lovers, three of cups, clearly a third party situation here. I feel like you might be getting a bit frustrated with the weight. You know, this person isn't really um, so forthcoming. You know, they could be dragging their feet a little bit. We have the, the Knight of Pentacles, which we know is the slowest moving knight. That horse is, is not moving. Um, and this person's got his arms crossed, nine of cups. It's kind of like, I'm not really letting you on, letting um, you in on what's going on for me. And I'm just going to make this decision in my own time. You know, there's a certain level of smugness with the nine of cups. This person's just thinking about themselves is what I'm, I'm sensing here. There is some kind of intention to offer you something, you know, the Knight of Cups is here, which we know is the romantic offer, the proposal, but by that time, you have your guard up. I feel like you're the Nine of Wands here, Cancer. You're like, it's been a while, like this has been quite an excruciating wait. This has been, you know, testing my, my, my patience. It's been testing my uh, resolve. Yeah, so, yeah, there hasn't been too much communication coming from this Emperor because we've got the Page of Swords in the reverse. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. You know, this Two of Swords is a card about indecision, keeping you, your blindfold on, but also the Swords are pointing down, which is telling me there's been a lack of communication along the way. But I definitely feel that they are tying up loose ends and they're ready to make a move towards you. And, and um, I, I did see the full when I was shuffling. So I feel like they are ready to take a leap of faith and go on a new journey with you. Okay. You could have started off as friends because of this three of cups here. Uh, but let's get some clarification. What is this person's feelings towards you, Cancer? Angels and spirit, how does this person truly feel towards Cancer? What are their true feelings and intentions, please? How do they feel towards cancer, please, spirit? How do they feel towards cancer? Eight of cups. I feel like they are walking away from something else in order to come towards you. But they may have had to temporarily um, withdraw from this connection in order to tie up loose ends elsewhere is what I'm feeling. Angels and spirit, please show me. Yeah, they want to go on a new journey with you is what I'm getting. Show me how does this person feel towards cancer and what are their intentions? Maybe they even had to go away, like physically remove themselves, go, um, to, like I, I see them at a distance, wrapping up some kind of um, cycle, okay? Yeah, the, hier the, the sun is in the reverse and the hierophant is here. I'm getting multiple messages from this. The hierophant could be that they were involved in another marriage, they were committed to somebody, it could have been a long-term relationship, um, but that's what they intend on offering you. But it just, it was a case of bad timing with the sun in the reverse. Okay, the sun is like new beginnings, the sun is new love. Um, you know, I, I kind of, 
when I, when I say the sun, I think of, you know, the sunrise, you know, it's the start of a new day. They weren't able to have a new beginning with you until they closed out another cycle. We saw that with the world, but I definitely feel that, you know, you make them happy. They're, they're coming towards you because you are their happiness. So let's see. How is Cancer feeling in this situation, please? How is Cancer feeling in this situation? How is Cancer feeling in this situation, please? Ace of Wands in the reverse. You don't want to take any action. Um, it's not. It's not really up to you. You've been waiting on this person to reignite this connection. Is what I'm seeing. Okay. Um, this, I feel, has really drained you. You've got the hanged man in the reverse. So it's like you're a bit powerless. Um, it's not you that needs to make the sacrifice. It's not you that needs to untangle themselves. It's the other person. That's what I'm seeing, okay? So you've been waiting, waiting, waiting for this um, connection to be able to move forward. And see how this person is bound? You know, he's got the, the ropes. Um, he, he's stuck. He's unable to kind of, um, to, to do anything to, um, change the situation. All right. And that's what I'm getting from you. So let's see, where is this going? Where is this going between cancer and their person of interest, please? In late November, 2022. Where is this going between cancer and their person of interest, please? Where is this going? Seven of Pentacles next to the King of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, this person knows how to um, keep you in the dark. Another sword card in the reverse. So they're keeping things well under wraps. Um, and the Seven of Pentacles, they're keeping you waiting. So I definitely feel that it's going to be the same um, until December, I feel. Um, let's see what their next move is towards cancer. What is this person's next move towards cancer, please? What is this person's next move towards cancer, please? Yeah, page of swords in the reverse. They're not saying anything. They're keeping very tight-lipped. Angels and spirit, please show me. What is this person's next move? Page of cups in the reverse. It's like they're wanting you to chase them, but that doesn't make any sense to me. Page of Swords in the reverse, again, you've got two pages in the reverse. It's like they want you. They want you to initiate the communication. Show me more about this person's next move, please. This person's next move towards Cancer, please. This is a general reading, so the roles can be reversed. You know, energy is fluid, but don't make it fit. Definitely let me know in the comments if this reading has resonated with you. Angels and Spirit, what is this person's next move towards Cancer, please? Five of Swords. I feel like this person's in their ego. They want to have the upper hand. I was kind of getting that with the Emperor. The Emperor can have control issues. The Emperor lacks to be in control. He's in his ego. So um, that's what I'm getting with the Five of Swords feel like it, maybe they're trying to ignore you to force you to make a move. Let's get um, some oracles. Angels and Spirit, what does this person want to say to Cancer, please? In late November 2022, if they, can be, if they could be completely honest, what would they say to Cancer, please? What would they say to Cancer, please? Just being near you is intoxicating, but I have a feeling they don't tell you this. They're highly attracted to you. Angels and spirit, please show me. It's like you're the forbidden fruit because I do see there's someone else in the picture. They're saying, I wish things could be different. Angels and spirit, please show me. So definitely I feel like you could have just known this person on a friend's basis or just known this person that they were an acquaintance they were highly attracted to you, but involved somewhere else, so they couldn't really do a lot. Angels and Spirit, what do they want to say to Cancer, please? What do they want to say to Cancer? 
I know I was a distraction from your pain. So maybe you had a bit of a flirtatious connection. Um, maybe you were both involved elsewhere at some point in relationships with other people. I will wait for a sign from you. What did I say? They're waiting for you to initiate. They're waiting for you to give them a green light. But I definitely feel they want you to make the first contact. One more message for, for Cancer, please. What do they want to say to Cancer? I left you before you could leave me. All right. See, this person has to win at all costs. That's the Emperor and the Five of Swords energy, okay? Let's see what your heartthrob affirmation cards say. We still haven't finished. I'll keep digging on them and get more information as to what's going on with them. But let's see. Angels and Spirit, what is, what is the message for Cancer in late November 2022, please? What is the message for Cancer, please? Tom Holland and he's saying you bring happiness to the people around you Paul Rudd is saying don't let idiots ruin your day and you've got you have compassion for yourself and others so you're a very sensitive person cancer you're very empathetic um, you're warm and I feel like this person's very cold and spirit is saying don't let them kind of dampen your spirits don't let them ruin your day yeah you're dazzling and um, even though this person seems like they've got, you know, their lives together and they could be quite successful in their field, you've got a card here saying no one has a clue what they're doing. We're all just winging it. So I feel like this person isn't as together as you think. Their life isn't as, as together as you think. Um, they're winging it. They don't know what to do in this situation. That's why they're hoping that you will take the next step. You will make the next move. I'm getting the message that you just need to keep doing you. Try and stay present. Um, don't get too anxious about what may or may not happen with this person. Um, you know, you need to kind of surrender and don't get too attached to a desired outcome. Let's have a look at your... Before we look at your advice, I do want to have a look and see what they want to say to you. Mm, this deck, actually. What do they want to say to Cancer, please? What do they want to say to Cancer? I don't know if I'm ready for something like this. Yeah, so then they can't commit to you right now because... They're still closing out cycles. They're not in a position to offer you anything. So they're dragging their feet. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What do they want to say to Cancer, please? What do they want to say to Cancer? I can feel you too. So they definitely feel you. They are very drawn to you. They are very um, attracted to you. They feel your presence. I regret what I said to you. It might have pushed you away or been cold. Yeah, because they're afraid of getting too close to you. They're saying, I'm afraid if we get too close, you will abandon me. So maybe they, they think you're going to have second thoughts. You're going to get cold feet. They're trying to heal old issues. What did I say? They're closing out cycles. They're feeling heartbroken. They're healing in the silence. So I definitely feel, yeah, there's no communication coming from them. They're running away from themselves, not you. So they're kind of in denial um, and they're not really facing their feelings. They think about you every night. Money is a concern from them. So maybe they're just focused on their business or um, their job. They want to hold you again. I just want to hold you again. I don't know how to have a healthy relationship. I'm afraid to open my heart. What did I say? The emperor wears a lot of armor and you find it very difficult to kind of 
penetrate it um, and get to to, to get the, to their heart center. But they haven't forgotten you, is what they're saying. So let's have a look at your advice. So I definitely feel like they've turned their back on you for now. They're, they're ignoring you for now. They're all cold. We saw a lot of swords. You could be dealing with an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Let me know in the comments if you are. Let's see. Angels and Spirit. What is the... Or an Aries with that um, Emperor card. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What is Cancer's advice in this situation, please? What's Cancer's advice in this situation? It takes two to tango. Okay, so I feel like this person is blaming everyone else to avoid looking at themselves and why, you know, they're unhappy and why they can't have a healthy relationship. Um, they're not recognizing that their part, it says it takes two people to create a situation. Don't let this person's fears be projected onto you. Have compassion for their struggle, but keep your boundaries intact and reach them from there. So I feel like spirit is saying, don't be enabling them by reaching out. You know, they have to kind of um, come to the party. Yeah, definitely. You've got the thank you card. This is saying, don't be feeding their ego. And don't be, you know, um, feeding their self-esteem at your own expense. You'll just end up draining yourself and, and getting stuck in a one-sided connection. All right. Um, we've got the Band-Aid card. I feel like this person's... They, they, um, they look outside of themselves to feel better, to feel validated and approved of and desired. And it's kind of like they... Um, it's like a bottomless pit. It's like the more you give this person, um, the more they, you know, you give them an inch, they run a mile is what I'm getting. They're doing a lot of reflecting, but you also need to as well. Um, you need to understand why you're drawn to this person, what attracted you to them. Um, do you like what you see? If not, you can change. So... It's asking you to reflect on what's going on in your environment and, and what is it telling you about what's going on inside. Spirit wants to acknowledge you for everything that you're becoming. I feel like you are integrating the lessons that this experience is offering you. And um, I feel like you, you're you doing quite well considering. Spirit saying no one should have more power over this decision than you. So don't wait around for this person to choose you. You make a decision based on if this connection is, um, if it's causing you pain, then, you know, remove yourself. If you're willing to wait for this person, well, I never, I never advise anyone to wait. Um, don't put your life on hold for anyone. You know, you're better than that. So while it's okay to kind of say, you know, give them a few weeks to sort out their stuff and make a decision, um, don't be... Um, don't be holding on so tightly that you forfeit other opportunities of love that come your way. All right. So that's what I want to say. Let's see how much battery do I have. I was running really low. Yeah, I'm going to end it there, Cancer, um, because I'm on low battery. Hopefully this helped you and I will see you guys next time. Bye.